Hi guys, today's story is Olivia Plays Soccer. Olivia Plays Soccer. Mrs. Hagen Muller gathered all the girls together. It was almost time for our first soccer game, she said. Come, get your uniforms. Olivia smiled and said, I will be wearing the red shirt. But Miss Hagenmuller said the red shirt is for the goalie. I have selected Francine to be our goalie. The next day, Olivia tried on her soccer uniform. Green is not my color, she said. It looks fine, Mother said. Green is the team color. Olivia was not happy. She tugged at her shirt. It's too big, she said. When you are part of a team, you need to look like the rest of them, Mother replied. Olivia decided to make her own uniform. She found a blue shirt and shorts and red bows for her ears. The next day was the game. Olivia wore her own uniform, but the other team was wearing blue too. Olivia, you broke the rules, Mrs. Hagemuller said. But since this is your first game, I will let you play. Olivia took her place on the field, but her teammates got confused and would not pass her the ball. Francine was not a very good goalie. The blue team scored 10 goals. The green team lost. The team blamed Francine for the loss. It was not all her fault, Olivia said. Maybe it was your fault, Francine said. Everyone thought you were on the other team. Olivia was surprised by what Francine said. Back at home, Olivia tried on her uniform again. I think your uniform is cool, Ian said. The next day, Olivia went to the soccer field. My mother says I do not have to be the goalie, Francine said. I will do it, Olivia shouted. Francine was so happy. Olivia was such a good friend to volunteer. Olivia the goalie got to wear the red shirt, and Olivia was a great goalie. The green team won. I knew he would play better with the right shirt, Olivia said. That night, Father tucked Olivia in bed. Good night, my little goalie. Good night, Olivia said. The end. Bye, friends.